Begin right here. Yes. What a treat. I want to stop being so nervous. <clears throat> okay. Hi. I was here about six months ago and asked, um, wanted to ask a question about attracting my partner. Oh, let me just breathe. <laughs> And the last two times ago, I did get called on as well. And you said he was in vibration. Yeah, that's that's truly wrong. injustice, isn't it? <laughs> truly injustice. That this is the third time. And uh, so what that means is you have a question queued and the expectation within you is close enough to receiving the answer that you light up in a way that's easy to see and not just because you're on the front row. Although that lined up for you too. Yeah. In other words, when you are ready to hear, you're more likely to be called forward. Mm -hmm. And last time I was here, I was really grasping and felt irritated. You didn't call on me and left feeling, you know, like I was wrestling with this question. And this time I feel like, okay, I'm letting go. And I'm good. Now get out. <laughs> no. <laughs> So Abraham, what I want to understand is I need some fine tuning. I, I feel as if I am to attract the partner into my life that I feel is in vibrational escrow. I feel as if the path for me is to fall in love with myself. Now let's say some other words. Okay. Because there is a flaw in the statement that you just made and we can help you to understand it perfectly. Great. You said to attract the partner that I know is in my vibrational escrow. Mm -hmm. And we want to say, if the partner's in your vibrational escrow, you've already attracted the partner. Okay. And that, there's a big distinction. In other words, when you say, I want to attract, that sounds like it's somewhere other than where I am. When you say the larger part of me has already become this relationship. And now all I have to do is become one with that vibration. Can you feel how different than that, that is than saying there's a partner out there somewhere running around. I can't find this person and I need to find this person somewhere. Which dating service should I join? In other words, I, I know this person's out there somewhere, but I can't and when you understand that it's already done yes. you've already through life put it in your vibrational escrow you've done all the work it's there it's done it's complete and when you know that then you let it in fast but as long as it feels lost or not complete then your expectation is different and you don't let it in so what am I doing what's happening for you're me? so focused upon the absence mm -hmm. in your fit so here what we're giving to you if you focus upon the presence of your partner already achieved in vibrational escrow rather than the absence of your partner mm -hmm. focus on the presence of the dollars that you are asked that you've asked for rather than the absence of the dollars accept that it's done and then do what you can do to line up with what's done feel how much easier that is it's done i've done the work i've lived the life i've met the other people i've given birth i've identified i've honed i have lived enough experiences to know what i don't want so i know what i do want i've come more into alignment with who i am i know who i am as a source energy being i'm together i have now given birth i am ready to let myself be the receiver of this thing that I have already created my work is to let in what is already done it's already done so now move your words with that attitude it's done so if something's done then don't you have a different attitude that when it's not done when it's not done where should I go who should I talk to who should I see what should I do how should I feel what should I say when it's done it's done when it's feel that it's done it's done what does that mean it's done so when it's done you don't have to try harder it's done when it's done you just watch expectantly for the way that it will unfold in your life experience it's done so people say to you how are you doing on the relationship thing you say it's done mm -hmm. and they say I don't see anyone with you and you say you don't you don't <laughs> <laughs> that's funny I do <laughs> I do you see when you are two people coming together and you have different professions you're usually not walking Jerry and Esther are joined at the hip but but <laughs> most of you do not Jerry would like to get away occasionally <laughs> he tried to escape in a bookstore but Esther found him and made him come back <laughs> most of you are in different places at different times and and so the majority of your relationship is about what it 
is not what it's being right here in this minute can you feel that it is done it's done how are you doing on that relationship great what's it like oh, it's, it's delicious what does it feel like well-being humor fulfillment satisfaction once you start resonating within what a really good relationship feels like it'll show up in full manifestation until you do that it won't I think you're picky you're really really picky and that's really 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 a good thing and you can't let yourself let in something that doesn't match what's over here mm -hmm. so you just have to find such resonance by thinking about it by pretending it by imagining it by basking in the deliciousness of it by feeling the doneness of it by patting yourself on the back by talking about the good job you've done let yourself be the recipient of your good work you see that's all last time I was here you said you saw him in vibrational escrow I just want to make sure he's still there <laughs> you said you'd give him my number <laughs> he's got your number but you keep changing your phone line okay. in other words you've got to, you've got to stay steady in the vibration of what you're wanting even the fact that you're asking for for our uh, uh, validation uh, yeah that's a very good word yeah even though the, as you reach for validation outside of yourself it means you don't trust right and when you don't trust you're not a match and when you're not a match you're taking longer than you need to yeah. and the reason we told you that it, it is already done that is already in your vibrational escrow is because we want you to understand that there's nothing more for you to do other than to chill out and stop wringing your hands mm -hmm. and stop asking where are you 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 that's the dominant vibration that's within you the vibration that's within you is I know you're there but I cannot find you yeah. I know you're there but I must be doing something wrong yeah. and you got to get over that or not no I will I, I think I'm on the path for that I think I buy into other family members or friends saying well you've been single for so long and how do you know and you need to do this and that and so I think it's really me connecting who I am and being in the flow well as you as you try to behave in ways that others approve of mm -hmm. you get out of whack with your own guidance uh -huh. as you behave in ways that feel good you come into alignment not only with your own guidance but with the creations that you've already set forth into your vibrational escrow mm -hmm. in other words we're not kidding you this is done you've collected all the data you've set forth the intentions the vibrational escrow is there and sweet 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 it is mm -hmm. you just have to find vibrational alignment with it so give us some words that let us know you've done that I'm falling in love with myself off the subject a bit okay trying too hard also <laughs> hit it right on subject relationship subject man I've been attracting subject man in vibrational escrow waiting for me subject my life experience with this person that after we hook up it will expand still further subject it's done it's in vibrational escrow now start right there and talk about it from know that knowing I know it's possible that steps back that steps back because you're still talking about what isn't done mm -hmm. you see this is the fine-tuning that yeah. you're reaching for because and when you say it's possible what you're actually saying is I know it could be but it isn't that's mm -hmm. the that's the underlying vibration that's going on we want you to take the stance that it is done it's done He's it's amazing. all right. it's all right to say it's it's done and it hasn't materialized mm -hmm. but it is not all right to say it's done and I can't find it you just have to find the words that say that and we're not you see we're not giving credit to words we're reading the vibration that is underlying your words mm -hmm. so talk to us about this relationship that you have created that is done it's amazing yes it's incredible he's everything that I've ever wanted and more and people will look at it and go wow all right now take your attention off what he is okay. and put your attention upon how you feel now you are inside this relationship what's yeah. it feel like to be there I because feel... because there's still when you when you try to see him and and don't mm -hmm. you vibrate on the lackful end of the stick right. so so get into what you know what's this relationship feel like what what's in it for you why do you want to manifest fully this vibrational 
fictional thing that you have already created? Why do you want it to blossom mm -hmm. into something that you can see, smell, taste, touch, feel? Because it's incredible. It makes me feel seen. It makes me feel supported. Um, it's a life partner, somebody to travel this journey with that really understands me and gets me and it's exciting and it's fun. Well, now wait, do you, do you think now we just have to ask you a question because okay. we've been watching you for a while forever and we, and, <laughs> and, and we can see what's in your vibrational escrow and we are aware of what life has caused you to create. And the partner that you put there isn't someone who wants to buoy you up and support you. The partner you've put there is self-sufficient and wants you to be too <laughs> good good yes you get that don't you yeah so when you say I see someone who will support me <laughs> you're not a vib you're not even a vibrational match to what you've been asking for oh, you're not boy. you're not getting into this relationship for support that you need you're getting into this relationship for the blossoming of two powerful creators coming together and enhancing the experience of one another that's a far different feeling isn't yeah. it yeah that feels powerful it does doesn't it yeah. Did you feel that one click right into place definitely what else now I'm afraid <laughs> <laughs> it's fun it's fun a lot of fun a lot of laughter um, excellent yeah what else great sex yes <laughs> a lot of that inspiration creativity light now hear how you're using general words and that's just fine mm -hmm. because in the general words you're choosing there is no vibrational distortion mm -hmm. so now if you want to really have fun with let's it, have fun be more be more specific in other words rather than the general world words like fun mm -hmm. you can say something and without any distortion that just holds you there a little longer mm -hmm. things like conversation is so good with someone when you're really on the same wavelength mm -hmm. and even though we've lived different lives it's like we've come to so many of the same conclusions and I can feel how the universe just orchestrated our coming together and we are just perfect for each other mm -hmm. it is so delicious to be standing here in this relationship knowing the power of that which we are and the, how the universal forces came together to bring us together I just love this mm -hmm. I just love this conversation or not I just love being in the room with this yeah. with you I just love being in the room with you I love knowing that we'll be together later in the day I love knowing that it doesn't matter when we're not I love the feeling of wholeness and it's not it feels to me oh you're really gonna like this or at least we do <laughs> It feels, it feels to me that my meeting you, physical lover, man of my dreams, was even more about me coming together with me. It's like a part of me created you and now I've come into alignment with, with me. I got you, but it's the alignment with me that is making this all so good. I don't need you to say things that make me feel good. I don't need you to appreciate me and behold me to buoy me up. I've got that. I figured that out. I came into alignment on a lot of things. And so I'm not looking to you, lover of my life, to fill my void. I don't have a void. Mm -hmm. That's why I got you. Mm -hmm. I haven't got a void. Why do I feel so separate sometimes? As you say that, I feel so much excitement and so much grief and sadness well the excitements when you think about the beingness of it the grief is when you think about the absence of it it's just mm -hmm. that simple and when you really really want something and you've done such a really really good job of creating this as you have when you've created something so magnificently and then you hold a thought like where are you I can't find you of course that's gonna feel terrible mm -hmm because it violates this powerful creation that you've set forth you see it's it's you splitting yourself apart from you and you don't do that very often you do that less and less all the time that feeling of sadness is becoming dimmer and dimmer and the feeling of anticipation is becoming stronger and stronger just chill out okay <laughs> don't try so hard and don't try to explain it to the others they don't get it anyway they don't get it anyway. 